What's up guys, this is my 2016 Sprinter. It's my moto van. It's what I use to get out on the trail and, uh, and then some. Uh, me and my wife use it to go out traveling sometimes without even having bikes, but it's really nice to have a place to sleep, have a place to, even if you're just doing a day trip, have a place to like switch into your riding gear, especially if there's some pretty crappy weather or it's cold or windy or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's really easy to load the bike, nice deck height, nice and low, but I wanted to go over seven things that I think every moto van should have that have like tremendously helped me out with my setup with this van. So I'll give you a quick peek inside the van before I get into the tips. But there is a full moto van tour on my channel. Uh, I'll link the video in the description. You can check that out if you want more details. All right, as you can see, I designed this van to kind of be like a toy hauler, nice and open. This folds down, this folds over. It does a lot of things. It's like a go-go gadget van, but I can put two bikes in here, uh, one here and then stagger the other one up front. We got a kitchen, we got some cabinets up top. Uh, it's like a swivel out table and like I say that's that changes into a bed uh, or I can do couch couch and Have a place to sit at a dinette First thing that every moto van needs hitch step. Oh man, this is like a lifesaver when you're loading your bike up in the ramp uh, Stepping all the way up there. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. It's just too high uh, this will help save your ass from falling down and uh, damaging your bike and yourself so Get a hitch step, plugs right into any hitch. Uh, super solid. This one I've been using for a couple years now and uh, worked out really well. Second thing every moto van needs, refrigerator. Fridge is super nice to come back after a ride, have a cold brew, some cold water, snack, what have you. This is, I believe it's called the TF-130 truck fridge. They're kind of hard to get, but they're made by Indel. And uh, yeah, it's a good size. It runs off of 12 volt only. And we got a lithium power bank and uh, got solar on the roof. Solar pretty much runs the fridge, um, but overnight we don't use hardly any battery from this thing. It only pulls uh, between two and four amps. So it's been an awesome fridge. Love it. Wouldn't change a thing. Every moto van needs one. Third thing every moto van needs, toilet. That's what this little guy is. It's kind of an ottoman and a toilet in one. But yeah, it's just a little cassette toilet and works great for doing your business. It's getting hot out. It's like 100 degrees today. But uh, but yeah, toilet, every van needs one. Um, you get out on the trail, you've had a whole bunch of coffee, you're ready to go ride, and you're just like, uh-oh, you know what I'm talking about. So you can take care of business right here in your van. Super convenient. Doesn't matter where you're at. You put the shades down if you want more privacy. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to go too far into toilets, but you know how a toilet works get one all right number four a bed it's pretty obvious but i think that's half the reason why people build moto vans right is to travel and travel with their bikes go on rides but more importantly i want to stress the fact that when you're building your van if you're building a van is to build a bed that you can use when your bike is inside so there's been a couple trips i've been on i've pulled in either like late at night and I just don't feel like unloading or it's like super cold outside and I'm, I'm just been on the road for a few hours and I just want to get to bed. It is super nice. I didn't even build this like with this intention, but it just, some things just work out like that when you're building a van. But uh, picture the bike still loaded up here. I can just pull, this is kind of like the, the backrest cushion. I can pull that off and that is plenty of space for me to sleep right next to my bike. You just got a quick place to sleep. You don't have to unload the bike. And not only that, the bike is way more secure inside the van. But when I get to camp, out comes the bike and everything folds out into a nice full-size bed. Tip number five, L-Track. It's airline track. Originally, they used it to uh, mount seats in airplanes. So yeah, we got one, two, three, four rows. Uh, they work good for strapping the bikes down. I spaced these two that exact distance apart to accept the one-up bike trays for our mountain bikes but these are super nice you can just like take these little fittings out and the l-track fittings these hooks they're rated for i don't know a lot you can like tie a car down with those things if you have them spaced properly yeah i kind of use the l-track for everything you strap down your gas cans your gear everything you want to strap everything down good when you're when you're driving l-track works great on the back doors as well gives me kind of like a little wardrobe area i keep all my jerseys and on the other door i got like jackets 
I usually have like a upper body chest protector kind of stuff up there. It also works well on the walls. We got all these L track hooks. You can hang your camel back, your your helmet. You don't want to have stuff like that while you're driving on the road. It'll drive you crazy swinging around making noise. But when you get to camp and you want everything up off the floor or off the bed, it's a good place to get it up and out of the way. I believe you can get this L track on Amazon. Uh, they usually sell it in big lengths, like eight foot. I think I got, I think I got ours from U.S. Cargo Control or someplace like that. I'll look it up and link it in the description. But yeah, I bought the eight foot sections and just cut them down to the exact pieces I needed, and then flush mounted them with the floor. So I worked out well. But L track, highly recommend it for building your moto van. Unlimited tie down options. Also storage uh, straps. I made this little bin down here. It's good to have like a spot for your straps and utility stuff and stuff that you don't always need and speaking of storage a lot of people have uh like a gear bag i just use these collapsible bins super lightweight they fold flat when there's nothing in them but it's just all my gear and when i want to go to bed at night or have a place to kind of have all my stinky gear i just put it in this and then i throw it up here on the passenger seat and then that way it's out of the way and last but not least, tip number seven, outdoor bike wash station. I actually used this bike wash station right after I bought my 300. I don't know if you saw that video, but literally right from the showroom floor, went out and rode with my buddy Nick in St. George and that nasty like red Utah clay. Just got it completely caked in mud. What a way to break in a bike, right? But the thing was just caked in mud. I wasn't about to put it in my nice clean van. Uh, I actually used the outdoor shower here to hose off the bike. We got a 20 gallon water tank in here. Um, there's an electric RV water pump. And yeah, this is just one of those like stretchy garden hoses. Um, works really good to hose off the bike and get all that mud off so you're not tracking it into your van. So it's usually enough water pressure to get most of the stuff off. Water pump keeps up as long as you got enough water in your tank, which I probably don't. I think I'm running low. <laughs> Well, I think it's time to get out of here. It's getting hot. It's gonna be like 100 degrees today. And there's not a cloud in the sky. And this ginger cannot handle any more sunshine. I have to go home and get some air conditioning. <sighs> well, freaking easy up. Just got taken by a gust of wind. I was like, I'm like five minutes from leaving. There hasn't been a gust of wind all day. It's perfectly calm right now. And the Easy App goes flying and smashes in my windshield. Oh well, I hope you guys like and subscribe from this video. Help me pay for my windshield. <laughs> all right guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm gonna get the heck out of here. It's 95 degrees and approaching 100. Thanks for watching. Be sure to smash that thumbs up button as hard as that easy up smash my windshield. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next video.